You've written your text and you've chosen your images. Now you need to know how to put them on your website page. This is tutorial number 12, Alignment. Hi, I'm Candace. Welcome to Websites Made Easy with Candace. The tutorials in this series correspond with the chapters of my book, I Need a Website, What Do I Do Now? If you'd like to follow along, you can purchase my book at Amazon.com. Alignment is used to organize your text and your images to create a balanced website page. It's never arbitrary. You don't just throw the stuff on the page and walk away. It's got to have structure. You want it to be organized so you can get your message across, so your viewers will stay on your site. A structured, well-organized website will engage your target audience. We are going to cover the basics of how text alignment and image alignment work together best and then how to mix them up to add a little creativity to the page. Good website designers use grids to organize their content. Grids are the number one alignment tool for your website page. Text alignment is the way text appears on the page, and it affects readability. It makes a difference. Alignment options for your text are Left alignment, when the lines of text are left aligned, they are flush on the left-hand side and ragged on the right. Right alignment, when the lines of text are right aligned, they're flushed on the right-hand side and ragged on the left. Right alignment is not used very often because it's difficult to read. You'll often find right alignment in creative sites because it kind of shakes things up but always remember to use it in headings and subheadings only. You cannot easily read it in body text. And if you can't read it, you're not getting your message across. Center alignment, that's when the lines of text are centered. They are ragged on both the left and the right. Center alignment is used best for headings and subheadings not for body text. It's just too difficult to read. Apple is introducing a new product, AirPods Pro. When they want to introduce that product, they use center alignment for both their headers and subheaders. As you can see, it's in the middle of the page, it's bold, it has impact, it gets your attention. But when they want to explain what the product is, they use left alignment. That's how people are used to gathering information, by reading left to right. So they go back to making another statement with their headers and subheaders center aligned in bold. But then when they go to explain what the product is, it's always left alignment. Because that's how we read left to right. Justified text is great for newspapers and magazines but lousy for websites. It's difficult for the viewer to scan, and Google can't read it at all. Take a look at these four examples. Left alignment text is strongest. It's the most popular and the easiest to read. Each line starts at the same place. In Western cultures, the eye reads left to right. Google uses left side alignment along with a lot of other large companies. It also fits mobile phones and tablets better. eDesign Interactive uses the left alignment with their text and a video on the right. They have three videos on their home page and each one is set up the same way. Their site looks professional. It's easy to scan. It's easy to read. This web page is from Be Living a company from Switzerland and they build eco-friendly houses. 
Here's another example of left alignment. This is Hairfest. You can see the video is on the right and the text is aligned to the left. Omnisquare is from Poland. It's a simple page. It's left aligned. It's clean and very readable. And finally, Citrix. Text is on the left. The eye normally goes to the left. You read through the text and then follow on to the right where the image is. One thing you'll notice about really good websites today is that the text is brief and the imagery is big. It makes a statement, it gets your attention. Text is difficult to read and can be confusing when it's aligned to the right. The lines in on the right margin but start at different places on the left. It has a creative appeal and is appropriate for numbers within columns, short lists, and often call to action buttons. The first web page that uses right alignment is for the movie Sherlock Holmes. Gucci Experimental Sneaker web page is colorful and very creative. Extra here is from the Netherlands. It's a freelance digital design company. Mista Electric is a French tattooist. And finally, Supercharge, a company out of Hungary, uses both left and right text alignment. Notice that right text alignment is only used for headings and subheadings. It is not used for body text because it's difficult to read. Center alignment calls your attention to something. It's right there in the middle. It's great for blocks of text containing a few words, but if you have large chunks of text, use left alignment because it's so much easier to read. Our first company is Hello Mojito. It's a French design and technology company. Chill Out is a drink from Japan. Cusp is a global team of design specialists from Canada. And this one's kind of fun, Pet Playlist. It's a website that creates customized playlists for you and your pets. And finally, First Cut Corn. First Cut Corn uses both left align and center alignment. The image is always center aligned. On the first page, the logo is right in the middle, first cut corn, it's left aligned. But if you look at the text below, it's center aligned. It's a little hard to read too. As you scroll down, it's a great site, you can see the corn stays in the middle. But take a look at the text. Now they've gone to left aligned text. And throughout the site, the image stays in the middle. But because it's easier to read, they opt for the left aligned text. Oh, that's pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> Making me hungry. And all the way through left aligned text to the end, leaving no kernel behind. To align the text so it has an even left and right margin, you have to add extra space between the words or the letters. It looks really neat, but unnatural because the spacing is off. It works as a shape, but it's really hard to read and renders differently on different screens. It doesn't flow evenly. Many people with cognitive disabilities have trouble reading justified text. It does not fit on other devices. Justified alignment is not a good form to use on websites, so don't use it. Image alignment. You align your images according to size and the relationship they have with other images or with your text. There are two basic types of alignment. Edge alignment of your image can line up with the left edge or the right edge it can line up with the top of the page or the bottom of the page. Center alignment is when images line up with one another in the center, vertically or horizontally. Here are some examples of websites that are aligned properly. 
Earl Brown Heritage Center. You can see that all the photos are aligned on the left. And Sukum, a global logic company, is also aligned to the left. The largest picture is on the left, and then the eye slowly goes to the right. Kayak is an example of center alignment, and so is United Sodas of America. I really like that one. It's real minimal. Catches your eye. Awards.com recognizes the best websites in the world. This is their About page. They align the photographs on the right edge. And finally, this one's from Japan, TSI Holdings. It's an apparel business, and I think it's interesting because the image is not just the young woman, but also the frames that are hanging on the wall. There are two good ways to align body text to an image. The best way is to align images to the left of the body text. It's easier to read because your eye catches the image first and then moves toward the text on the right. The Dutch company Moy left aligns the image and color blocks the right side of the page to highlight the text. It's clean, calming on the eye, and easy to scan. Mendo is a creative bookstore in the Netherlands. The eye catches the text first on this web page. It's big and bold, and it's aligned to the left. The eye then moves to the right toward the image. Do not use justified text on your website. It's hard to read. Google won't scan it, so, so don't even consider it an option. And never align an image in the middle of body text. Text has to be read without interruption. If you have something in the middle of it, the eye just tires and doesn't finish. Remember to keep body text short, one to three sentences. If you want to give more information, link to another page. Cavell is a French bike company. They keep the body text brief, but link to another page for viewers that want more information. The Fragrance Conservatory from Norway has body text on the home page to whet your appetite for more information. And if you wish, you can click on the link for recipes used in perfume development. Or not. Don't spill all you know on the home page because nobody's going to read it. Humans have a short attention span. They skim web pages for information, so make it easy to read. Coffee Address is a website from Lithuania for coffee and coffee equipment. It's minimal and elegant. The viewer doesn't have to think. They react. Shorter sentences keep your viewer engaged, and the content is more scannable so your viewers won't bounce and then miss out on the awesome content that you have to offer. So now that we know about text alignment and image alignment and how they work together, you might ask, how do we get them on the page? Whether the design is simple or complex, there's got to be order. And a good way to achieve this is by using a grid. Grids create structure and ensure precise alignment. Take a look at these three web page designs. Alignment is different on each, but each one adheres to the grid. Notice that the text is in line and also that the images in the group are the same size. The result is that the design is clear, concise, and visually appealing. Now here's a site that looks kind of interesting when you first look at it, but it's confusing. It's not aligned. You've got all of these things <laughs> popping up like that. You, you've got these different areas of study and you've got to catch them. They're going around. You've got to wait till they come and then you say, okay, digital maker, digital maker. And then it comes up. You got to you got to click it twice. Um, um, and and then well, here's another one here. So it just doesn't work. I don't even know what happened there. You know, it just it just doesn't work. Look at it. 
It would be so much simpler if they had gotten rid of the technology. Don't do a video. Just make it, there they go again. <laughs> Just make it plain and simple and align it so your viewer can access the information easily. A much better option is to arrange the course titles alphabetically and put them on the screen so you don't have to hunt for them or try to catch them. And each one of these blocks of information would have a link when you click on it to another page that explains the course. Make it easy for your viewer to get the information. And that's what you want. People will stay on your site and check out the courses. They're all there for you to see. Well, at least those are the ones I could catch. The other one, you just, you get frustrated and you just leave. Alignment is so important. It keeps your viewers interested. Not everything has to be structured the same way. Mixing alignment styles can make the page appear more radical, freer, more playful, and creative. The elements are aligned properly just in different ways to create more visual interest. Simply Chocolate makes 100% organic chocolate bars, and they have several varieties. This is Salty Fred. They could have designed the page to look like this. Left aligned, bold print, following a right aligned image, center text on the top, menu on the right. It looks nice. But they opted for something different, a little bit more creative, something that would catch your eye. So now the name of their company, Simply Chocolate, is no longer in the middle, it's aligned vertically on the left. And the menu that's on the right, instead of being aligned horizontally, it's now aligned on the top edge vertically. And they put the product right over the text. It's still readable because the bar has the name on it, Salty Frat. But it grabs your attention. It's a little bit different. And they follow through with the other bars that they have. This one is Fresh Freddy. So you can mix things up and make them a little bit more interesting. You will notice that all of the sites I'm going to show you use white space to avoid a visually cluttered and confusing page. Mixed alignment websites are risky. Manny Pine is a company in Denmark that builds custom woodwork. Notice the title is large and in bold. Text is horizontal and vertical. And the images are not only different sizes, but they're sitting on different planes. Asterisco is a creative agency in Italy. The text is horizontal and vertical. The top images are different widths, and the bottom images are larger and aligned beneath the top but the edges line up. Curious space creates spaces for performance venues. And looking at it, it looks a bit random, but the images are within a larger grid. The outer edges line up and form a square. This site would attract their target audience, but maybe not the general public. Always keep in mind your target audience. Those are the people you want to stay on your website. And finally, Nikki is a Greek artist. Not many people would try to use center aligned, left aligned, and right aligned text on one page. But she did, added a lot of white space, and it works. Alignment is essential to website design. It will give your web page a structure that will deliver your information clearly, quickly, and professionally. A well-structured and designed website is stronger, more compelling, and it makes it easier for your viewers to access. So get out the grids and start to organize. Tutorial number 13 will be out next week and we're going to be discussing headers and footers. Most people don't even think about headers and footers. 
but they contain valuable information. And footers especially are getting a lot of attention these days. So check it out. It'll be fun. So Lulu and I'll see you next week.